Morning guys, this is Dennis at businessmodel.guru. Okay, today I'm having a look at the, the LinkedIn business model canvas. We, we've mocked up a, a quick one here. And as usual, we'll start over on the right hand side and have a look at the customer segments. LinkedIn has three main customer segments. There are the normal internet users, the, the people who just go on, put their stuff on the platform. Then there are recruiters who are want to reach these people to hire them for jobs. Finally, there are the advertisers and marketers who want to reach people for various re reasons. Now, what are the value propositions for, for each of these three groups? Okay, so to internet users, I mean, the key value here is that they have a platform where they can present themselves, uh, their online CV, if you like, and how they can network and reach other people, either in their immediate network or into a wider network. And that's hugely valuable to them. And LinkedIn offered that as a freemium service. Recruiters are taking advantage of the way that the LinkedIn platform works. And this is when you put your information on as a, as a normal internet user, you are putting it in, in a structured form. Yeah, that means that LinkedIn essentially has a database of 400 million people with all the information put very, very nicely. And that enables recruiters to easily identify people that they want to talk to and then to reach out and find uh, and talk to them. Finally, advertisers and marketers use the same feature of the, of the network and, and they're able to, to filter and segment and target very, very precisely either niche groups or much larger interest groups. Now, the customer relationships here, LinkedIn, like many platforms, Pretty much everything is, is, is automated unless something's gone wrong. Uh, and there are very much two types of uh, relationship here. There are the same side network, network effects where users are talking to users. They're building their own networks. They're building their own relationships. And that pretty much happens totally independent of what LinkedIn or anybody else does. On the other hand, there are the cross side network effects where the recruiters and the advertisers and the marketers are really seeing that they're, they're reaching across from them to the users. And, and, and the larger the network of users is, the more value it is to the recruiters. But the more you recruiters in there, it doesn't actually change the, the impact there. So you've got two different types of network effects going on then. Channels, I mean, LinkedIn, given the way that it's worked with 400 million people on there, who've created links back to their profile and lots and lots of places has amazing SEO and, and, and presence. So it's, it's very, very dominant. So the main channel that people now use is to go directly to the website or increasingly 55% of users are now accessing uh, LinkedIn through the mobile app. And, and they, that's the, the main, main route to market. Um, the field sales, is, is very much for how do how does LinkedIn reach the the advertisers and the and the recruiters? Okay, how does it make the money for, for normal users? It's, it's very much subscriptions, add-ons. If you're looking for a job, you can buy a, a job hunter subscription. If you're if you're trying to sell to people, you buy a salesman subscription. Fifty, seventy dollars a month, a hundred dollars a month for different levels. Hiring solutions, they pay to post an advert. They pay to, to do a search and reach out to candidates. They pay to have a branded company talent site on LinkedIn. All these are sources of, of, of revenue. And when it comes down to the, the key activities, what's the most important thing for LinkedIn? It's the platform. Without the platform, they don't have a network. If they don't have a network, nothing else works. So developing the platform, increasing user engagement, which means increasing more users, which means that recruiters find more people, so they pay more money. This is what drives everything. And it's the platform development is absolutely key to keep everything relevant, growing, and to create barriers to entry for other, other companies. All right, in the last 30 seconds, we'll skip the key partners and just go on to look at the cost structure, um, the web hosting, the cost of the data centers, this is all hugely, hugely expensive. And then the product development, this is where the majority of the costs come from. So this is the LinkedIn business model from Dennis at businessmodel2.guru. Do read the article. And if you're interested, send us an email and find out how we can help you. Have a great day.